Anthropic provides some really comprehensive docs to help us improve our prompting. But there's one tool in particular that I want to show you today. It's called their Helpta Metaprompt. It's an experimental feature, but it's really interesting in actually seeing how we can design more effective prompts for Claude. So if you come to this page, docs.anthropic.com, on the left hand side, go to Prompt Engineering and the Helper Meta Prompt, and then click on this link here, and it opens a Google Collab notebook. Now, when you first open this, don't worry, I'm sure you're thinking what I did. What is this? No way I'm gonna be able to use it. It is incredibly easy. It is four steps. First thing is make a copy by clicking File, Save a Copy in Drive. So you just come up to File, click, file, save a copy in drive, and they'll create a new copy of this in your drive. I already have saved a copy, so I'm gonna open it here, and I've just renamed it as Claude Metaprompt. Next step is to enter your Anthropic API key in between the quotation marks where it says put your API key here. So this is in this first little section here, Anthropic API key equals two quotation marks, that is where you put your API key. If you don't have one yet, you can go to console.anthropic.com, you can register, it's very quick, and you get API keys that you can enter there. The next step is to enter your task where it says replace with your task. So we're gonna scroll down a little bit. We come to the section here where it says task equal to, and then we've got quotation marks again. This is where you put in the task that you want to complete. So I've put in create a fundraising email for a nonprofit dog rescue. There's some sections for variables, but I'm gonna leave that for now. And the last thing that you need to do is run this. So I'm just gonna add my API key and click run. Once you've added your API key and your task, come up to runtime and click run all. And this is actually gonna process through each of these tasks in a sequential order. It's actually gonna ask us for some variables, which is quite interesting in seeing how it designs this prompt. And then we'll run it as well so we can see the output. Okay, so we scrolled down to the bottom and it's actually already now prompting us for some variables. And this is really interesting. I'm often speaking with organizations that simply are not putting in enough context for, to the prompt for the AI model to be able to deliver a good output. And this is a great example of that. We simply asked for a fundraising email for a dog not rescue nonprofit. But it's actually asked, what is the organization's name? So we're going to call it Happy Paws. Uh, Happy Paws. And let's see if it's gonna ask for something else. Organization description. So we're gonna say a dog rescue in Melbourne, Australia. And it's asked now for a fundraising goal. All right, let's say $10,000. And donation ask, we we'll say please give today so we can help the rescued dogs in our care. And that looks like to be the last variable that it's asking for. And now it should be generating this prompt. So if we scroll up, we actually can find the prompt here. So we have a section called variables where it's asked for those specific variables. We then have the prompt. So you'll be writing a fundraising email for a nonprofit dog rescue organization. Use the following information. Now here you can start seeing some really interesting structure to this prompt. It's using what we call XML tag. So we've got organization in an XML tag and then close of organization. So everything that sits between that tag, the open tag and the close tag relates to the organization. Everything that is related to fundraising is sitting within those sections. And that just makes it really clean and clear for this AI model to be able to identify specific context. We've also got some guidelines here for writing the email. Open the email with a warm greeting and some background on the organization. Mention the organization by name, etc. In the next paragraph, clearly state the fundraising goal. We've got some more details there, but if we actually scroll down, we should find the output of the prompt. So we've got organization name, description, all of those variables that we put in, and the actual email. Dear friend, I hope this message finds you well. I'm reaching out on behalf of Happy Paws, a dog rescue organization based in Melbourne, Australia. Our mission is to provide safe haven for rescued drugs. Second paragraph. Today I'm writing to share an urgent need. Happy Paws has set a fundraising goal of $10,000 to support the rising number of dogs in our care, etc., etc. So I think you'll find that this is a really interesting and useful tool where you can actually simply provide a one-liner of what you would like the task to be and you'll get a really nice structured prompt that you can take, 
copy and put into your Claude or if you're using ChatGPT and actually edit it as needed to provide the additional context and run it internally here so that you're not using your API key. This is also really useful in helping to learn the structure of prompting, especially XML tags if you are using Claude. So definitely jump onto docs.anthropic.com, check out the help prompter and give it a go. As I said, it's a lot easier than it looks. You really just got to add your API key, your task, and then click runtime and run all and you'll get started. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.